We continue our Camp Countdown series today with the Indianapolis Colts. Indy holding their first practice at Anderson University just 32 days from now, Willie. Yes. 32 a magic number because did you know that that is the number of touchdown passes Andrew Luck has thrown in his career against the AFC South. But enough about the offense. I'm sitting here with a great defensive player. Let's talk about this Colts defense, shall we? They, they struggled mightily yes, last year. In, yep. in, in, each and every year in the playoffs since Andrew Luck has been there, they have underperformed. Mark Redler asks this question, will the defense be better this year? Yeah, and it has a lot to do with the offense, the addition of Frank Gore, the time of possession. Okay, they'll hold on the ball, ball control. I see the confusing look. I get it now. I, and when you said Frank Gore, I'm like, he doesn't play defense, but now I get it. Fewer snaps for the defense and maybe fewer passer attempts, which takes the interception total down a little bit because they'll be running the ball, ball a little bit more. Now, the additions of guys like Nate Irving, Trent Cole, Kendall Lakeford, run stoppers, Coming back, Robert Mathis coming back is also going to help. And Greg Minuski found a lot of different ways to get out to the quarterback. Now he's got two edge rushers he knows can get to the quarterback every single down. Greg Minuski, an old linebacker mm -hmm. himself. Speaking of linebackers, Robert Mathis yes. back from that torn Achilles. We know what he can do yes. when he's healthy. Put up 19 and a half sacks yes, in 2013. Did. What do you expect from Mathis this time around? To work his way back in the system. I know coming off a serious injury like that, you know he's not going to be the Robert Mathis that had 19 and a half sacks, but he's had a year off. He's getting stronger. Hopefully he can come back and bring that production, production excuse me, off the edge. You got Trent Cole, you got Eric Wall, you got other guys that can come in. They can mix it up. And again, Greg Minuski found a lot of different ways with the linebackers, safeties, and cornerback blitzes. So they'll find a lot of different ways to bring pressure. But this defense has gotten better. Robert Mathis, 34 years young. He obviously can perform, yes. perform at those uh, plus 30 years. He did it just a couple of years ago. Let's send it over to Amber and Jamie. Come on, this is the Colts. It's all about Andrew Luck Thank and you. the offense, Jamie. Why let's talk about the offense. Let's talk time over there. Let's, time talk, let's talk about what really matters. K-Way wants to know okay. who is going to be Andrew Luck's go-to receiver. It's going to be T.Y. Hilton or Andre Johnson. The answer is yes. <laughs> Both. As in both. I mean, because you have to have you have to have the little sizzle. We know T.Y. Hilton's going to be the guy who moves the ball, gets the big chunks of yardage. There's no question about that. Tremendous football player. Big play waiting to happen. But then there's also the substance, and that's where Andre Johnson comes in. Here you're talking about a guy who understands how to move the chains. And so, to me, it's all about having effective passing. In other words, the big play over the top, and hopefully they'll be running the ball too. And then you have Andre Johnson, who's continuing to be that rock, that steadying force. So you're saying they're going to have all facets of the offense Absolutely. working. And they have Frank Gore there uh -huh. now. So J Jackson from Facebook wants to know if Luck, Johnson, and Gore are the NFL's newest triple threat. Well, I don't think you could have two 30-something guys being the newest of anything. Yeah. All accomplished. But I think what's important is that if the Colts are going to be successful, they must run the football. Mm -hmm. They have to be a run-orient play-action team. And, yes, Andrew Luck is a fantastic quarterback who can throw the ball. But the teams who win championship, the teams are the ones that actually play action and then throw the ball. And yes, Tom Brady threw the ball 50 times in the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, I know that happened. That, yeah. yeah, but but it's it's about what the offensive it's the quarterback and what it helps the offensive line do. You run the football, you pound guys, you get better. Real quick. Did the Colts go to Super Bowl 50 with this offense? I don't think they get there, not Ooh. because of the offense, but because of what Big Willa just talked about a minute ago. Oh, that the other defense. half. Yeah. We've got to have that too. All right, thanks, guys, for submitting your social media questions. We appreciate that.